Right, three, two, one, and off we go. Hello everyone, I'm Tone300. Welcome back to Greg Tech New Horizons. And today I'm going to carry on with our project to try and automate Chrome. Um, but I've been spending a few days just upstatting some of my crops because pretty soon we're going to have to increase our power production. And I'm going to do that with biodiesel, I think. So I've been upstating rape, which is just here. So we've got a few different ones going on. Um, yeah, I'll just keep cross reading and seeing what we're getting. We're also working on the goldfish over the back there. And we're working on tear stalks as well. So we're just trying to get some better stats on some of these crops because we're going to need them. And actually, this one's finished growing over here. So I had a 535 tear stalk that I've crossbred with a stick read, a 1580. And let's see if we can get anything good out of this quickly. To remember to always remove the crop so we don't get weeds taking over the place. Now, obviously, I do want to get the portable scanner at some point, but for now, we're on a basic scanner still. Uh, not too bad, 854. Obviously, the resistance, we want to try and get down a bit. So I'm going to put that in here for now. What have we got in here? We've got some goldfish here, all, all different varying sort of stats on the goldfish. That was not too bad. So yeah, that's what I've been doing. Um, obviously, I'm not going to do it on camera because it takes absolutely hours and days of just yeah monitoring your crops because otherwise you just get weeds to take over. So yeah, today I want to carry on with Chrome. Let's see what we can do. In fact, we should have left some of our stuff there behind. We don't need a watering can and trowel and things like that. And the weeds go in there. Right, we're good. So I'm also going to do the Ruby Juice quest. That's something a few people have pointed out that I should have done by now. I'm going to do it, but I don't actually think that is going to be my preferred method of getting Chrome because I can't be, I can't automate that. I've had a look into it, and there is there's not a way I can automate it. The problem is is getting the rubies in the first place. Now I can automate getting ruby dust. So, this version here we can automate, but if we want the impure dust or anything else, we can't automate it. So, I might as well show you actually how our silicon solar grade is going. There we go. We've got over a stack of it now. This did stop for a while, production, and we actually had a pipe problem that we didn't notice last time. So this small potting fluid pipe I'd accidentally linked into this pipe, this one here. So we'd linked it into the wrong pipe and yeah, it was just not working anymore. So the machines had stopped, all the oxygen gas had backed up, but it's all running again now. So we do need to sort out our power soon. It is running okay at the moment. But the batteries were draining at one point, so it depends how much stuff we have running. Actually, we want to get some muffler hatches at some point as well, quieting these machines down a bit. Okay, so here we go, the Ruby Juice quest. So the most efficient way to process Ruby ore better than electrolysis. However, we can't automate it, so it doesn't say that here. 
So this is optional to get any of these, so we don't actually need to do that part, although we have got it all somewhere. Um, retrieval task, tiny bar of sodium hydroxide we have done. So we just need a hydro hydrochloric acid cell, which I'm pretty sure we're producing around the other side there. In one of these, and there we go. So, to make ruby juice, MV mixer hydrochloric acid, crushed ruby ore, and a tiny pile of sodium hydroxide dust. Right, we need some crushed ruby ore. I do have some ruby ore on me. But nothing to crush it with. Let's go over here. Pretty sure we can just chuck some in a full hammer. Oh, is that going to give me the dust? Oh, it's disappeared anyway. So we'll feed this into our steam grinder. In fact, there is a chance we've got some somewhere, but it will pop out again soon if we haven't. Oh, I need to make some new piston boots. Mine are broken. Okay, so the ruby ore's done now. So we've got to mix it with the sodium hydroxide, which we don't have, but we have got the larger version. We can quickly convert that over. Uh, sodium hydroxide dust, where are you? Ah, oh, maybe we don't have any anywhere. I thought we did. Let me have a think. Where would that be? Sodium hydroxide dust. I mean, we could just make some, of course. It's literally sodium and water in a chemical reactor. I'm sure we did this the other day. Ah, it's in our own inventory. Okay, let's go to the mixer. Um, I should be able to use one of these. In fact, we've got to change that to the small version with the tiny version. OK, 
has too many different ones there. Let's have a look at the recipe again. Hydrochloric acid, program one. Okay, there's our ruby juice. Pretty sure we use our ruby juice to get this. Yep. So MV centrifuge. I know I've got one in my inventory otherwise. Okay, so that completes that quest, and that just leaves us now. We might as well get the loot. And what else we had? We hand that one in. Did you run low on redstone and or gold? No problem with glowstone flower farm. Oh yeah, we've done that. You can centrifuge glowstone dust to redstone and gold dust. To redstone is also a good source of chrome. Oh, so there's actually a quest that tells me all of this. Shall we take the circuit or shall we take the loot bag? I don't know, I just like taking loot bags, I don't know why. Circuits I like to automate anyway. So have we got anything else to hand in? Um, I won't do that one at the moment. In fact, there's a few quests I want to do here at some point because we are getting into IC2 quite heavily. We should actually be able to complete this silicon solar grade ingots as well. And again, I'm definitely taking the loot bag because we've automated this. Silicon solar grade plates. I think we can guess how we make those. So a bending machine or oh, forge hammer. Bending machines one to one, and the forge hammer is three to two. So that's actually better, isn't it? Okay, let's go and get that quest done as well. I like getting a few quests done. In fact, let's just put all these coins away. Save the loot bags to the end of the episode, see if we get any more. So we've got quite a few different things here to put away. Is that gold? No, let's try calcium.
Oh, I've decided to put the music back on for a while on Minecraft as well. We've had it turned off for quite a while, but I've got it on a low volume just in the background. Hope you don't mind. So, a sodium hydroxide we've done. It's really down to this chrome, isn't it now? So, I am going to use the advanced electrolyzer. So we need to produce some extra redstone, some extra ruby dust. So we're going to put another centrifuge down. And where's my wrench? Oh, I think I left it on charge upstairs. Let me run up and get that. I don't think we would have the music on too often, don't we? So we need to centrifuge more of the glowstone, which is coming in from behind. So if we put a machine over there, or what's that, lathe? I suppose the lathe can stay there. I'm going to need another item pipe. Nothing on me. One's got a conveyor module already on it. Don't think we need that. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to farm goldfish plants, so just random noises they make. Right, so. Let's bring that around like so. Hopefully this is going to feed some glowstone in. Mind you the output's on the back at the moment isn't it so let's move that. Not sure if our power setup's going to handle this. We're definitely going to move away from steam very soon. Okay, so this is going to produce some extra redstone that we're going to turn into rubies or ruby dust. I just want to process this automated. So the gold dust we can put into here however I don't want the rubies going in sorry not the rubies the redstone going in there because that is being consumed quicker than I can make it so 
So what do we want to do with this? We want to, I think we need to centrifuge it if I remember correctly. So yeah, we centrifuge the redstone. It does take 170 seconds to make one ruby dust, which we need six of. We do get mercury as a byproduct. I mean, it's going to be a slow process. We're talking about, what was it, 10 to 12 minutes or something like that to make one chrome dust, which is pretty slow. However, if this is running 24 7, then that's not the end of the world. And we're also going to get pyrite dust and raw silicon dust as byproducts along with mercury. Yeah, this isn't the quickest process in the world, and there's no way of making it any quicker. Right, it's what it is. We just have to go with that. I suppose 10 to 12 minutes is actually not a very long time in GTNH, considering how many years it will take to complete the pack. So, yeah, with that running all the time, you'll have quite a reasonable supply of chrome. And we can top it up with a ruby juice, I suppose, if we need to. Right, I'm going to have to get some barrels. And then we need to get the redstone into a centrifuge. I think it was an LV one, wasn't it? Okay, so we've got the yeah, we've got the centrifuge already. Let's go and grab a couple of barrels. I mean, I'm using the barrel so I can visually see what supply I've got, and also if I want to top it up manually, I will have that option. Three barrels, I'm going to grab a few more pipes while we're here. Possibly some cables. Okay, so ultimately it wants to end up in here. If that's going to be possible. And not easily, not with the machine where it is at the moment. Try and remember why I put three advanced electrolyzers all next to each other. We need the space.
Come on, you know I'm trying to place it on the side. Thank you. Okay, so that's our redstone and gold dust. I suppose I could just leave that running like that, manually put it in for our chrome. Or do we want to pipe it across? It's going to be a bit awkward. I really need to move one of these electrolyzers. I mean, ultimately, I want to redesign this area anyway. I don't really like all my machines just randomly placed on the floor. I want to organise it a bit better. And we're running out of power. Batteries are draining. Okay, so basically the idea is we just take this redstone out of here. So we just take out everybody we want. Once this is filled up, Chuck it in here. Nope, we've missed something. We've missed the centrifuge. Sorry. Right, this is all MV, so we need to put it around the other side. See, now we've actually got a way we could pipe this into the centrifuge, but... Okay, redstone in there, which is a yep, 170 second recipe. And that will give us our ruby dust. That means we don't have to go out farming rubies anymore. Going to need a tank for the mercury. So that is the basic process I'm going to adopt. However, I need to redesign this whole area. And ultimately get this up and running as well. Because I'm going to use this for making some power. So we're going to use our seed oil, we're going to make some biodiesel, which I think we need wood vinegar. It's actually a quest for this. Yes, yeah, so I think it's the methanol, isn't it? There was the wood vinegar, wasn't it? So I was just going to go into the quest book and actually have a look. So biodiesel fuel. So we need either ethanol or methanol and seed oil or fish oil. So I think we're going to do the methanol. So yeah, if we distill wood vinegar, which I think is made in the pyrolyzed oven, there it is, with wood. So we just need to set up another little wood farm, which we'll probably do with bonsais, because we're starting to get some better bonsais now. We'll be able to automate that process of making methanol. And ultimately, we want to automate biodiesel, but that isn't for today. That's probably going to be the next episode, to be honest, because power is becoming an issue. Today I just wanted to tick off a few quests to tie up some loose ends from last time, 
So let's use our bending machine or our full hammer with our ingots. Where's our full hammer? That was better, wasn't it? No, that's worse. Three for two rather than a one to one ratio. What am I doing? This is what happens when you have three months off. <laughs> oh dear. Oh well, that's fine. End up we're on the wrong recipe again, aren't we? Or are we? Yeah, we should be fine on program one. Not that I can even see the bending machine anymore. Okay, so there's our four plates. We did waste an ingot there, but that was my bad. Uh, let's complete that quest. Which then leads us on to transistors. Fine tin wire, okay. Program three, some tin ingots. Okay, so multi polyethylene, fine tin wire, and the plates on program two. I don't really want that glue in there. See if we've got some molten polyethylene anywhere. A couple of places it might be. It might be one of these chests being stored. Or more likely then. Right down the end. Of our circuit factory. That's where I'm thinking it might be. What's this? The glue, isn't it? Molten glass. Oh, a lot of molten tin everywhere.
ethylene. Polyethylene, here we are. I knew I had some somewhere. Space is becoming a maze. How many did I actually need? Twenty four transistors. Um, let's hold let's hold that. Alright, let's say sixteen, that should be enough. Actually, it's not enough because it only gives me. An... Yeah, we needed 24, so we need another 8. Actually, no, because it makes 6 at a time. That's fine. This should be enough to get the quest done. Yeah, our base is in need of a redesign. I'm going to have to redesign the whole layout, everything. This is all LV up here, which I don't mind, but I want some space for MV machines as well. Um, I'll tell you what I'm thinking while well, that's crafting. I'm thinking of having a central square area, maybe... I don't know, a couple of chunks by a couple of chunks. And then either side, I mean, two really large circular structures. Think of, um, you know, the building in Jurassic Park, the sort of main info centre, the main big building. I'll have two of those either side of this square in the middle, link them in. Just feel like that would look kind of cool. Um, I've got to make some space. And redesign everything and move all the machines inside it's gonna be a bit of a task so I'm putting it off at the moment but we need more power and I think I need to redesign there we go we need something for all the pipes and wires to be hidden away as well right so that completes the quest um, we are gonna take the loot bag again I should probably take the transistors, really, but I'm going to take the loot bag. Okay, so now we are ready to do the advanced circuits quest. I'm not going to do that right now. I'm going to set up some more infrastructure and power, I think, first. But first of all, let's open some loot and see what we get. Let's just clear a bit of our inventory space. So that was some manganese and a couple of apple pies, some MV circuits and ethereal glass. Let's put those away. Vanadium steel, lovely. And we're going to have to put those away as well because we don't have any inventory space left. Vanadium steel. Okay, the MV circuits can go up there. Those in there as well. And let's try our loose last loot bag. Slime crystal. And what is that? Heartseeker. 
slimy, formic, green force one, haste, auto repair. This looks like a pretty good crossbow to me. Hmm. Not a bad quest reward at all. Pleased with that. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to end that one there. Um, leave me some comments, guys. Let me know what you think about the base redesign and the ideas I'm having. And any tips on how you think I should lay it out? Should I do it in separate rooms, you know, for separate machines or all in one big central area? I don't know. Let me know your thoughts anyway. Leave me some comments. Do like, subscribe, and we'll see you again soon for another episode. Bye for now.